Okay, so here I am. I'm getting ready to pull out from uh, Anacortes. My first, uh, my first trip with the trailer. You can see the sun is going down right now. Back here, there's the trailer, and uh, the sun is going down right down in the middle of this east-west street. And it's like a day after this, the equinox, so it's virtually the same thing as equinox. And you can see that uh, the street is an east-west street because it's perfectly aligned. That sun will go down probably in five minutes, ten minutes, and it will be perfectly lined up with this street. And I'll stick around that long. And then I'm gonna pull out of here. Talked a little bit about the vernal equinox the other day on the vernal equinox, but the, the sky was overcast and we didn't get a real good, uh, it was really windy, so it was hard to hear me, but you can see my rig here. I'm having to pull out today because I was parked here to uh, bide my time for two weeks until I got my second COVID shot. This COVID shot was supposed to be last Friday. It's now Monday. The uh, state or the county didn't have the, the uh, shots, so my uh, second shot was uh, postponed indefinitely. So I was hanging out here not knowing what was going to happen. And uh, with my lovely friend who hosted me, and um, then I found out, you know, a day or so ago that they did now have the vaccine and I got the first available appointment, which is tomorrow. But that wasn't good enough for the landlady. Not my host, not my hostess, but her landlady who felt that the original agreement should st still hold, which was that it would be two weeks from the day I got here. So I'm pulling out tonight prematurely by one day because this person is not kind enough or compassionate enough or charitable enough to let me stay one extra day on the street here where I'm not harming anybody. Uh, and, uh, you know, we... All we can say is bless her heart, you know? Pray for her karma. So I had to scramble today to find another uh, place to park the trailer tonight. And then tomorrow I have to go get this shot, so... Uh, so, that's what's going on. And we're waiting for the sun to go down. We should go down shortly here. See how closer it is to lining up to the street now. I'm right out here in the middle of the street. Look at how perfectly lined that is. This is why. Uh, These kinds of things are the reasons why I end up doing things the way I do. It's because Spirit wanted me to be here to do this, to record this moment like this. Last night, an interesting thing happened. I came out of the trailer over here in the middle of the night, check on things, walk around the trailer. I come out of the trailer and there's four deer, four female does. <laughs> That's redundant, four does are like right over here behind the trailer in the where that car is sitting right over there i mean that's how close i was to them and uh the the full moon well it wasn't the full moon it's like a half moon the half moon was in the sky over here by the tree to the right so it was north of this east-west line 
what is that it's north perigee or apogee or whatever you want to call it the node the north node and it was uh shining up there i took some shots but it really didn't do it justice and so i was out here with the moon and the clouds over the moon and and these four does and just giving thanks for the gift of that moment and, and I'm giving thanks now for this the gift of this moment which uh, which is exceedingly superior look at this as the Sun goes down straight down the street and now it's time for me to take my rig and go home well to my next home my rig is my home now I'm not I'm not homeless I have my home. My home is on wheels. And uh, so the adventure begins now. Here's the, uh, we haven't seen this before, the, uh, the motto on the back of the tra trailer here. It says, through the grace of God, living the journey, destination unknown. I didn't put that on there. It came with the trailer. But it is very appropriate, isn't it? So, take care of yourself. Pray for me on the road. Aho, mitakoyasu.